Hey, Andrew here at Shot 2022 with Dave from Silencer Shop. And of course we've got some cans, but the big thing that we've all been talking about lately is how the AFT changed up the e-filing process. That's right. So what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about this horrible, this, the worst. <laughs> the, the inert silencer. This is the worst whistle <laughs> I've ever tried. This doesn't make any noise. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> what is this? Yo, that is actually OSS. Um, they're actually renaming themselves to Huxworks. So I think you'll start seeing a lot of cross, like branding moving over from them, but it's the exact same cans they've always had. Yeah, great silencers. Low blowback is their, kind of their claim to fame, right? So if I want to buy one of these, how does the process work? So with any one of our dealers, you basically would go into, go into the store, you buy, you buy the silencer either through our website or through the dealer, then you run through the kiosk one time. After you've gone through that kiosk, we review your information, then we prepare everything to submit to ATF. Now the big difference is with e-forms, prior to e-forms, we would send you a DocuSign to sign and then we would print it and mail it to the bank in Oregon. With e-forms, we actually will directly upload your fingerprints, directly make your payment to ATF. Everything goes in directly and it saves months off the process. So instead of a 10 month process, you're looking at three months. That's what ATF is saying. They're saying everything approved within 90 days. Now, we'll see if they actually hit that, but that's yeah. what they're saying. Well, right? I mean, people have been reporting over over the last six months or year or so, people have been seeing stamps come back in like a year and a half. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It, and there's a huge variation too. Yeah. Yeah. A few people get lucky and they, they get turned around in three months and other dudes like 18 months. And that's right. On the same submitting day. <laughs> that's you know? right. Yeah, there really seems to be not a whole lot of rhyme or reason to it. But when you look at the way the paper process works, that's you kind of start to understand. They're moving these forms around in boxes, and it, if yours gets shuffled to the back somewhere, it literally will get lost, right? Yeah. It's not a bad idea to call the ATF periodically, and I don't mean every day. Yeah. I mean, like, every six months. Well, and careful, because... Somebody's going to say in the comments, well, that's what's making it take so long. That's I why mean, I'm saying call every six kind of months. Maybe a little bit. The problem is if you don't do that. The person answering the phone isn't the examiner. That's right. And if you if you don't do that, you can wind up in that case where you're a year and a half out. And ATF's yeah. like, oh, huh, oh we well, forgot yours. You We've been looking for you. <laughs> yeah. And that does happen yeah. more than you would think. But I do also agree, don't call them every day. Yeah. You know, that's not productive for anybody. But with e-forms, the certification goes from, you're not signing a paper form to certify anymore. You're now certifying uh, digitally through the e-form system. And our platform is actually enabling you to be able to do that very, very simply. Yeah. And we upload the digital fingerprints directly to the ATF system. So even if you were to do a form for yourself and then mail the prints, which it is, it does support, that adds, according to ATF, a minimum of two weeks to your wait time. So we upload the prints directly, we let you certify directly with your dealer, I mean, really it's a pretty slick system. It's, a, it's rolling out now, I mean there have been bumps, it was like, I think after ATF launched the system it was a week and a half before anybody could really log in, but it's a, but now things are starting to smooth out. Yeah, I'm, I imagine that over the next couple of months it will find its rut and the, the ATF right. will kind of come to terms with how the new system works and everything and, and people will have a much better uh, set of expectations That's so right. we know, we know what, what's going to happen. And the new eForms has a lot of the same scaling issues as the old eForms did, but on the flip side, it actually is running on hardware that can be scaled. So ATF just flipped the switch switch a few days ago and actually brought on enough new capacity to do like 10x more logins. The old system okay. didn't support that. So, yeah, and I think people who have been in eForms for the last two or three weeks are probably starting to see it smoothing out. They're also pushing fixes like crazy. So we've been reporting bugs, they turn around, they fix them. I mean, I tell you, for so, ATF, hang on this a second. is promising. Are, are we still talking about the government? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting a positive spin on it. <laughs> it just doesn't sound believable for uh, for government behavior efficient. 
yeah. scalable. But like these words that you're saying don't, don't normally I get know. associated with AFT. Isn't that funny? <laughs> no, it's it's good news overall. I, I think I think that things should get quite a bit better. I, 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 honestly, I mean, as much crap as we give to the AFT, I think they also would like things to be smoother and more efficient and more controlled. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I can't... I, if I worked for the, for the ATF and had to navigate through all of that, I, it would be a nightmare. I, yeah. I can't imagine how awful it is for them to work with. Right. So it'll be better for everybody. Yep, I agree. And, you know, the great the thing is now we're talking about 90 days. Like, we're all excited. Yeah. <laughs> 90 days. Man, that's still long. It is. It is. But and, it's, uh, and, I mean, honestly, there's there's no reason I shouldn't be able to walk. Well, there's no reason that there should be any infringements in the first place. But if there must be, there's no reason I shouldn't be able to walk into a gun store, fill up the 4473, and fill up the Form 4 and walk out with my can. You know, I actually think, looking at what's actually doable under the framework of the existing legislation, I actually think getting your silencer within three to seven days from the time you buy it is very, very doable. Yeah. I mean, it's a, I really do. Those are the types of things we're working on from silencer shop's perspective that I think will make a real difference going forward. Because people will get used to 90 days, then yeah. that'll start feeling long, then we need to get it down into that three to seven day window where that's that's like buying it on Amazon. There was right? a period back around, I don't know, 2008 or 2010 or so that the turnaround was in the three month period yes. or so for a paper form four. We had on the silencer shop website, we had a note that said, if it crosses four months, give us a call because something's wrong. Yeah. And I tell you, once it crossed that permanently, and our phones were just ringing off the hook, right. <laughs> there, I was like, yes, uh, there's something wrong. <laughs> there is definitely something wrong, but there's nothing we can do about it. That's pretty much right, yeah. The good old days, right? Yeah. Well, Dave, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me come by. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you guys <laughs> for watching. I love you. <laughs>